All right, what's good, y'all? So let's hop straight into the breakdown. So here's the FOP. Uh, there's a lot of sounds in this one, but yeah, let me just play this first. As you can see, I start off with some chords right here. They sound like this. They're from Contact, from the Online Bank, and I went with Silk Chick preset right here. Uh, this bank by Teletone Audio. So here's the MIDI. I start off in G sharp minor right here. So basically, there's these two chords in the melody. So I'm gonna start off by deleting these two. This right here is a G sharp minor. If we pitch up the D sharp, you see it's a minor chord. Then I duplicated the chord, pitch it down five semitones. One, two, three, four, five. So then I took the D sharp note and pitched it down. And after that, I added these two notes right here, which is the bass notes. Uh, so I took the G sharp, which is the root note, and the D sharp right here. Duplicated them, pitched them down, duplicated them. So this is the whole chord progression. After that, I went into the mixer. I start off by taking out some of the lows with an EQ. After that, I went to delay tape by Arturia. I went with the delay slightly bumping presets. After that, I loaded up an FX uh, fragments by Arturia also, and I automated the knob right here the mix knob i'm gonna get it show you how i did that in a minute finally i pitched down the sample three semitones so here's how i automated the the mix knob for the fx fragments after that i went into analog lab and I went with this preset right here, Ghost Pads by Mike Fuego. And I just wanted to add some more rhythm to the, to the chords. So I added twice as many chords, but instead of keeping all of them in natural minor or like a regular minor chord, I moved every other note down lines on my tone to make them F sus2 chords instead. It sounds like this now. So it added some sort of bounce to it because it's, hit, it's hitting twice as many chords. After that, add even more bounce. I took these shortened them like this to get rid of some fading effects and also took this one right here duplicated it make unique as sample now we got this little thing as a separate audio file i pitched up a whole whole octave i reversed it and i made it twice as fast so now it sounds like this very minimalistic sound but together with the rest it adds more bounce so i placed it out at every other chord so after i had the two sounds i went to splice and i found this pack right here synesthesia and i found this first synth right here dragged it in right here uh, i pitched it up to the correct key as the sample was in and i also time stretched it to fit the bpm now it sounds like this so i chopped it up like this duplicated it three times and then for the last part i just dragged it out like this so it repeats three times and then something new comes in right here and finally for this section right here i added a bass line one shot is from the palace volume 2 and i went with the damaging bass and here's the midi This is the A section, all the sounds in the first part of the sample. And for the B section, I start off by duplicating these and try to build something new on top of these. So the first thing I added was this bass line right here. Uh, it's a deep double chain moog uh, in Omnisphere. I don't know why I used two different bass in this sample, but I did. So it's the same pattern, it's just another, another sound and it sounds like this. After that, uh, I wanted some more energy when it transitioned in from this part to the second part. So I was looking for, a, for like a harsh pad to add to layer this with. So I went into Xenology and I went with the Vintage One pad right here. I basically just copy pasted over the, the chord from the original melody. But I threw a, uh, a filter mini by Arturia on it and I went with this preset. Now it sounds like this. But I want to add some more to it, so I went to Xenology again. This time I found this lead right here, the STNMG lead. And I came up with this pattern right here.
first two right here is down one octave and the last two is up one octave. So that's everything for the B part. For the C part, I duplicated the chords again, bass line, and I also took this one and I also brought back this splice phrase right here. So no new sounds in the C part, I just rearranged some of them. And for the D part, same thing again. I start off with the chords and then I dragged in these uh, accent chords kinda. Bass line and the sharp chords from Xenology. And for the last section, I used the chords, the accent chords, and only the second bass line, the orange bass line. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. That's all there is to the sample. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something new. And if you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Peace.